CPGM Juice of Couch Potato General Manager back with another video, and it's an exciting one. I, I'm covering one of my favorite prospects in this class, perhaps the best defensive player in this class, Layatu Latu out of UCLA, very talented edge rusher. There's a lot of conversation around the quarterback position, but one of the most interesting storylines in this 2024 NFL draft cycle to me is who's the top defensive player in this class? Perhaps going in, you may have had Jared Verse, certainly Jerzon Newton from Illinois has made a case. A couple other players, but for my money, it's Latu out of UCLA. I just want to talk about how advanced he is in terms of his pass rushing technique, particularly the use of his hands and his underrated athleticism. So let's jump into the film. So this first clip here is from LA's matchup against Washington State, the Cougs. Uh, perhaps Cam Ward's worst game of the season. Very talented quarterback. The, the UCLA front got after him, and certainly Latu led the charge here. You'll see the hand usage really is what stands out to me with respect to Latu Latu. It's it's really impressive. I haven't seen anything quite like that in some time with that advance of hand usage at the collegiate level. And I think it's going to serve him incredibly well at the next level. So let's run the clip here. You'll notice Latu on the left side of the formation. Right there. Look, look at look, when do you ever they're holding hands. <laughs> they're holding hands and of course the tackle actually has Latu around the shoulder pads that's holding no flag comes but Latu fights and finds a way to get to the pass rusher on this next rep here he's in a wide nine alignment and that double swipe that that crossover swipe is really patented of Latu Latu he takes advantage of tackles on a routine basis they're not even able to get their hands on him most of the time once again violent hands getting the, the tackle off of him, the chip man off of him. He just gets through the trash, man. He does a great job of fending off any would-be blocker. Of course, here is a rip move, and it gets in on the sack, ultimately leads to a fumble. Again, in that wide nine alignment, he's screaming off the edge. And one of the knocks I've heard on Latu is that he doesn't necessarily possess upper echelon athleticism or a great athletic trait. And, and I think it's a bit overblown. I see the requisite burst off the line of scrimmage. I, I see him consistently flatten out and bend the edge. You don't want to get too wide as a pass rusher. It makes it very easy for quarterbacks to step up and avoid you. In this instance, he slides in. You know, he, he's in a four-eye, three technique look at times, and he still finds a way to completely abuse that guard and get to the quarterback. Again, this is going to look like the same play, but this is actually a different snap altogether. He does the same thing. They find a matchup here against the right guard. He easily beats him with a swim move and his quickness gets to the quarterback. You can see the tenacity, the way he gets after it as he's chasing down this quarterback on the backside here. I mean, you, you talk about those athletic traits and I, and I see the ability to close and finish. And I think that's going to be significant. I think that's a big part of being able to successfully affect the quarterback on a consistent basis at the NFL level, even with the chip here from the running back, or actually the running back is staying in the help, it doesn't matter. He gets to Caleb Williams. Look at the hustle on this particular play. I thought just the dogged mentality, again, great hand usage, double swipe. And then, of course, you see the athleticism here. Gets into the passing lane. It didn't allow the, the tackle to cut him. Gets his hands up, makes a play. I'd like to see the big man score right here, but, you know, I'm not going to fault him for it. Obviously, as a 3-4 edge, he can do it all. He can drop into curl flat, hook zone, make a play on the ball, find the ball carrier in space, make tackles, and he's also really good against the run. So he's not a one-trick pony here where you're going to have to limit him to, you know, third and long, third down situations. I, I think he's actually one of the most complete prospects in the entirety of this class. The big question mark is going to be the health, though, of course. Right? He, he medically retired when he was with – Washington State Cougars, he actually transferred to UCLA, had medically retired due to a neck injury, ultimately came back, and, and he's been on a tear ever since. He was really good last year. That's really when I got an opportunity, got got introduced to Latu and his ability. It really was this year. I think he's really punctuated things this year. And, of course, he's actually was invited and has accepted his invite to the Senior Bowl. So I'm really looking forward to that. Watching him reminds me of... Itman. And, and you can see it in the title. If you're not familiar with Itman, he's portrayed by Donnie Yen. It's Bruce Lee's teacher. Great series of movies, by the way. But just the hand usage, I, I think it's it's elite. And, and while there is a lot of emphasis on first step explosion and being able to convert speed to power and, and strength, which I think is something that he possesses, but certainly can stand to improve. 
I, I think we have to talk about his ability to fend off would-be blockers with incredible hand usage. Excellent technique, a variety of pass rush moves, swim, rip, chop, you know, double swap, whatever the case may be, and then to consistently bend the edge. I, I think you have to consider that hand usage among those elite criteria, that elite trait. And from my perspective, if the medicals check out and he runs a good 10-yard split, because that's really the emphasis when it comes to pass rushers, that initial burst, I think he is worthy of being the first defensive player off the board. Now, there are going to be certain teams that remove him from the board altogether because of the injury history. That's a question mark, and it's a valid question mark. But I, I imagine team doctors will poke and prod, and, and those teams that are comfortable with Latu's bill of health, I think are going to be handsomely rewarded when it's all said and done. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think.